In today's video, I'll guide you through fixing the memory management blue screen error on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'll provide a couple of effective solutions that you can apply. The memory management error often appears with a blue screen message stating that your PC ran into a problem, usually due to an issue with a RAM. But don't worry, we'll cover everything in this video. Let's dive into the solutions and find the best way to fix it. Let's start by accessing the advanced options. Start by reaching the login screen. Once there, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then click on the power icon located in the lower right hand corner. While still holding the shift, click on restart and then choose restart anyway. You can release the shift key now. And you should see a message saying, please wait. And then you'll be seeing a screen with various advanced options. Now we need to access the safe mode with networking. Click on the troubleshoot and then select advanced options and click on startup settings. Next, click on restart. Once the computer restarts, you'll see various startup options. Simply press the five key on your keyboard and the system will start in safe mode with networking. Once you've booted in safe mode, you'll notice a different screen with safe mode displayed at the top right. From here, access the Windows search and type Windows memory. Select Windows memory diagnostic from the result. Click on restart now and check for problems. This will initiate the Windows memory diagnostic tool, which will run various tests and display the status. Currently, it may show that no problems have been detected. Simply wait for the test to complete. Once finished, your system will automatically restart. After reboot, check to see if the problem has been resolved. If the issue persists, try updating your Windows graphic driver and other drivers on your PC or laptop. To do this, right click on the Windows icon and select device managers. From the list, look for any drivers with a yellow exclamation mark indicating an issue. If you find any, right click on them and select update driver then choose search automatically for drivers. Ensure all drivers, especially display adapters, are up to date. This step can help resolve any remaining issues. You should also update Windows. From the Windows search, type update and click on check for updates. If updates are available, proceed with the installation. Next, access the Windows search again and this time type CMD. Right click on it and select run as an admin. Then click yes to confirm. Here, let's type SFC space slash scan now and press enter. This will scan the system files for any integrity violations. If the problem persists after trying all these solutions, you can attempt to restore your system to a previous working state. Start by accessing the Windows search and type rstrui.exe and press enter. If you've created a restore point or if one has been automatically created, click next and choose a date when you believe your computer was working fine and follow the prompt to initiate the restoration process. This may help resolve the issue. If none of the previous solutions resolves your issue, your last attempt is to reset your PC. To do this, access the Windows search and type reset. Click on reset this PC, then choose reset PC. Select the first option, keep my files, as this will only remove apps and settings while keeping your personal files and data. Let me know in the comments section which method worked for you and feel free to ask me any questions or share any doubts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye for now.